Okay, I want more money. I want more. I want more. Limiting beliefs about money. How to make more money, how to overcome your fears, anxieties, your tension, any discomfort that you have when it comes to money, how to accept more money into your life, how to see new opportunities, and what to do. What to do if you have the limit that you cannot overcome. Very important that you understand your limitations. Limitations without understanding are going to get you killed there is something stopping us no matter what we do we can't you know overcome this financial limit money 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 today we're going to talk about that and uh, i will share with you an exercise that you can do at home to work with your limiting beliefs regarding your financial freedom we want to be free to to do what we want to do freedom to be free i want to be free Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! So today we talk about money. Logically, you might think, yes, I want more. Logically, you might think I want to make more money because I need to buy new stuff. But our subconscious mind doesn't agree with us. And um, this is happening because uh, if... Uh, we allow more money to come into our life, it means that we have to accept the risk that we might lose the money. We might accept uh, the challenge that we uh, will be judged. Let's say you are looking for a new job and you're going uh, through different interviews and on each interview, the people who are hiring you will judge your skills, will judge your appearance, will uh, pay attention to what you're saying. So, we have this discomfort subconsciously you know going through different challenges in our life if we get more money we uh, will face a new responsibilities how to spend this money uh, should i spend them to my, on myself should i spend them for my kids should i it is complicated isn't it so logically you might think yes i want to make money but subconsciously you're thinking mm -mm, uh you know the risk is too high today we will do an exercise, an exercise that will help you to motivate your subconscious mind to make more money. So for your mind, it does not matter if you're making $100,000 or $300,000. If you never made $300,000, then for you, it's just a number. If you never lived in a one million dollar house then for you there's no difference if you're gonna compare a house that cost one million dollars to three million dollars yes you kind of know that you know the more expensive house probably means more room better view maybe better furniture but in reality it's just Honey, it really promise. it makes no difference to me if you know the difference between apples and um, a pear, then you can explain those differences. But if you never made, let's say, $100,000 or $300,000 or half a million dollars, then for you, it's just a number. That makes no difference to me. And your brain, your subconscious mind does not really understand why do you have to challenge yourself? Why do you have to struggle? Why do you have to go through risk, criticism, discomfort, feelings, uh, a fear of unknown in order to switch just the number from 100,000 to 300,000? Ain't no point of getting all worked up over something that's probably not even going to happen. So... The goal of today's exercise is to teach your brain to understand big numbers and not just to understand, but to make them desirable. And so now I'm wondering, what should I do? Okay, so uh, you will need a notebook and we're gonna spend money. Sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Spend money to make money. Hmm. Let's imagine that you received $1,000. So you have $1,000. You have 24 hours before midnight uh, to spend those money. If you don't spend this money, this thousand bucks, then it will disappear at midnight. Like in Cinderella's story, midnight, boom, everything disappeared. It's gone. Finished. The um, 
rule is you can spend this amount only on yourself on your own needs you cannot spend them on kids you cannot spend them on your husband on your parents you cannot spend them on gifts you cannot buy a gift for somebody else and you cannot invest them like you cannot say okay i'm gonna take this thousand bucks and put them in my bank account or i will buy stocks no you can spend you know the whole thousand as a one purchase for one purchase or you can break it so for example let's say i'm gonna do this exercise so i'm gonna write today's date october 8th 19th that's the day when i'm recording this video and i'm gonna uh, write down one thousand dollars then i will think what do i want to buy and let's say i want to buy a prada shoes so i'm gonna go to the website the goal is not just to find something to match the number but the goal is to find something that you actually like something that brings that makes you happy that makes you excited so i select my size and i click add to shopping bag and now my subtotal is 821 in my notebook i'm gonna write red uh, prada sneakers 821 so i still have 179 dollars to spend maybe i will go to amazon and buy some stuff virtually right or uh if i'm not gonna spend it at midnight i will lose this money all right I accept the challenge. So the next day, let's say uh, it's uh, October 20th. For me, it's day number two. I will receive $2,000. So every day you have one extra thousand dollars to the amount that you had yesterday. So let's say today I have $2,000. So I was like, okay, so my brain will associate these $2,000 with a specific thing. So it's not just a number it's a real oh i like this one ah see 2550 but i have only 2000 so i cannot buy this i was like oh, maybe i need to come back okay let's go back to the purses so now my shopping bag has a purse has a backpack and it's for 1821 dollars and they still have 108 dollars to spend the next day the third day i will have three thousand dollars the next day the fourth day i will have four thousand dollars and the rule is if you skip one day you have to start from the beginning and the goal is to travel this circle until you get back to who you are so the goal of this exercise is to show your brain that you can actually be excited about money that money can bring joy to you the money can bring some, bring some happiness some good feelings the more you're gonna shop the more things you're gonna see the better um you will understand the value of the money maybe you bought yourself a um, airplane tickets uh, to hawaii first class then you bought yourself an expensive hotel then you bought yourself you know three pair of shoes three pair of bags three pair of dresses a uh, pair of dresses so by doing this exercise you will teach yourself to believe that you know you can reach your dreams you can reach your goals and numbers are not going to be just numbers in in your head you're going to have a picture of things that you really really like i think that sounds like a great idea if this video was helpful please give me like subscribe and share i'm always looking forward to reading your comments and to seeing your likes please help me to promote my channel and i will continue helping you by creating new videos and answering your questions Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.